Hey there, folks, you're all here. I'm the sole author of Distal, a new high fantasy D20 system built to honor the struggles that your characters face over a life of adventure. I'm currently working on the first beta packet, releasing later this month, but there's plenty of free material already. You can go pre-order the game or join the development Discord down in the video description. Today, I wanted to introduce dwarves in Distal. The art here is by Grey Herb, and it shows one of our dwarven characters in full form. Also, if you'd like to come up with a name for her, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I haven't decided yet. Also, feel free to ask about anything else that you would like to learn about Distal. When it comes to dwarves, you pretty much get what you're paying for. We don't stray too far from the staples established by Tolkien and Gygax. Dwarves are children of the stone, and most trace bloodlines back to the denizens of Embermantle. Centuries of isolation left plenty of time to develop complex political hierarchies, and the dwarves are constantly embroiled in civil wars among their shattered, divided empire. Dwarves are not made of stone, but they can bear flecks of jasper and lapis and granite, other stones uh, beneath the surface, almost like freckles. Most dwarves have a deep uh, gemstone colored eyes, but there's also a very rare genetic mutation that makes them royal like magma. These roiling eyes are referred to as Bremen gut or mountain's blood, which is the same term that they use to describe magma flows and loads of rich minerals. If you're playing a dwarf, you have a high health pool. They're hardy, durable, capable of carrying more bulky items than other lineages, and they aren't penalized as harshly for wearing uh, heavy armor as part of the movement speed reduction is ignored. The blast hammer and blunderbuss are both weapons of dwarven design built for dwarven hands. What that means in distal is just that the statistical requirements to wield these weapons are a little bit lower for you. Every lineage in distal currently has three bloodline aspects, which basically give you a special lineage ability right at the start. You can take on stone skin, which allows you to enshroud your body in stone as an action. And in this form, an empty hand acts as a shield, allowing you to mitigate incoming damage. Your unarmed attacks are also considered silvered, which allows you to bypass mundane resistance on like spirits, ghosts, that sort of thing. And you're also slowed because of all the extra weight. If you really like armor, there's also bloodline for that. It's called armor care and it'll allow you to expend a willpower die, which is a limited combat resource. Uh, anytime that your armor would degrade, you spend the die, and then you get to ignore it. Because armor has kind of sort of durability in this game. Whenever it blocks damage, if you roll low, then it can degrade and eventually compromise that armor. Additionally, when you conduct a major downtime activity, you can also repair a piece of armor or a shield which isn't something that you normally get to do as the major downtime activities mean that you're doing something else important. Dwarves naturally have limited movement speed compared to the other lineages, but they also have a low center of gravity. So there's a bloodline that lets you take advantage of it. Impossible to topple is a bloodline ability that allows you once per round to ignore being pushed, pulled, or knocked prone. Additionally, the cost of getting back on your feet when you do fall prone is only 10 instead of 15 feet of movement. Anywho, that's the basic rundown of dwarves in Distal, and I think they're pretty dope. There's some fun lore aspects of them in Distal, and I really hope you dig it. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and also, if you have questions, if you want to hear more about Distal, go ahead and leave those thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks very much, folks. Real signing off.